free bobs and all the vagony in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going down a rabbit hole of all rabbit hole, ladies and gentlemen. So for those of you who don't know, Fortnite is a pop. Why, why the f you know why the fuck am I acting like the Nintendo E3? Fortnite is a popular game. Yes, it's one of the biggest battle royale games out there. Last time I checked, a game that's free to play is grossing about 300 million a month. I think roughly is what people have been sort of throwing out. I don't know how accurate that number is, but for for those of you who can't do the math, that's a lot of fucking dolans. Now, I've been playing the shit out of the game on the Nintendo Switch while my phone goes off, interrupting my video, but I've been enjoying the game here and there on the Switch, playing with some of my buddies, you know, when a Battle Royale game is good, in my opinion, with your boys. But, ladies and gentlemen, one of the biggest platforms for Fortnite is Apple's iOS devices. And rightfully so. There's a lot of people in the world that have iPhones and iPads, and being one of the biggest platforms uh, mobile for Fortnite, it's no doubt that Android will soon get a version of Fortnite. It's not going to be as soon as the iOS platforms, obviously because Android does have a lot more permutations of devices, and it takes a little bit more time getting things running and smooth on those sets of devices anyways. It will come. But one thing that I've noticed is ever since the E3 reveal, there's been a live stream that has been running on YouTube for about 24 something hours. Now, I've basically blocked off everything over here, so nobody can really target this into individual or whatnot or anything of the same sort. But basically, the most important thing over here is just a little snippet of the description box over here. The description leads to a site called fortniteand.com. This is a website that it seems like uh, it, 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 it is distributing the Android version of Fortnite, it seems, and I, I guess to a lot of people who are younger, who really do want to play Fortnite like their favorite YouTubers and streamers on the internet, are going to fall head over heels for something like this on their tablets or smart devices. So I decided, you know what, Muda? We gonna do a fucking rabbit hole, ladies and gentlemen, because you know what's something? You know what gets Muda's dick hard? It's a goddamn rabbit hole. So in the quest for hardening my penores, I decided to go to fortniteand.com. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I shit you not, the website is in fact this crappy. Let me just move that over real quick, okay? It's running on an ultra wide screen. But anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we have the official Fortnite Android version. Now we're gonna sort of do a little check and grading system into how terrible this might actually be. My check grading system is pretty fair, but let's go look into this real quick. You've got the Fortnite symbol on the top. Okay, check, check plus, I guess, will be nice. Check plus for that. The download now button, straight to the fucking point, actually copies off of a Dropbox account. Would not recommend that Epic Games, if they were distributing an Android version of their title, would be through Dropbox, just saying it would be off of Epic Games' servers. So a little check minus there. Finally designed. Ooh, finally. Download official Fortnite Android version APK that isn't yet out for downloading. Yeah, because your, your random sketchy website's gonna have the Fortnite APK that Epic Games has, right? It's in beta, but you can still play it on your Android mobile device. Oh, can we now? Really, I can. Well, that's just great. Now, if you go to the Fortnite on Android, they've got some answers for you. Popular on iOS. That's true. It's pro I think it's like number six on the iOS free store, you know, after... After, after what, like, the, 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 the same Candy Crush type stuff? Since Fortnite release of Fortnite beta for iOS devices, they started, they've decided to start developing Android version of the game that will be compatible with almost all Android versions. Oh, wow. Really? This is official beta APK that will let you play Fortnite with your friends from your Android mobile device. For those of you who don't know what an APK, it's the application package you basically installed your Android device to run a game or whatever application. All smooth. Since this APK is only beta version of Fortnite, you will be amazed how smooth actually the game runs on almost all devices. It's crazy how much Pigeon English can like just completely shatter the minds of somebody. <laughs> Download it and try out your experience and leave us the feedback. Okay, all right. So over here, if you can see, Ali A has apparently, allegedly given an endorsement. Experience of the Android Fortnite version is actually really sick. It was so much fun to play this game on Android also. Such an amazing experience. Bum, 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 bum. Cue the, cue the dubstep music. But I, I'm, I'm gonna be under the impression, Ali A, that you didn't even give this endorsement. So Ali A, I think you should definitely go to fortniteand.com and, and definitely file some sort of junction because they're using your name without asking you. I hope that it is not you endorsing this. I don't think you would endorse a scam like this. Come on now. 
All right. Now it's coming out for Android. It's for Apple, Epic Games, PlayStation, w Windows 10, Xbox. Where, where's the Switch? You might as well add a Rockstar Games to that list too. Okay. Maybe, maybe throw a little bit of a Activision somewhere. Maybe maybe a little EA symbol. You know, just just to top the little cherry on the on the top. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, my grading for the site is uh, absolute fucking scam out of a hundred. How did I come across to that conclusion? Well, I, I think it's pretty evident. I, I would usually explain myself, but I think I think the evidence speaks for itself. So, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, you may be wondering, Muda, you have the APK, don't you? Oh boy, I do. I've installed it on my BlueStacks emulator, an Android emulator that does pretty well for gaming. In the event, this may actually be the real Fortnite. The APK itself is about 50 megabytes in size, and it sounds like it's going to be ass. So I figured it's right over here. I'm not going to leave you here in this 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 suspensive mood. We're going to hit Fortnite on the PC and just see what 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 God has really given to us, ladies and gentlemen. Starting Fortnite, you can see that it loads up a video file of a loading screen for Fortnite. How do how does Muda know it's a video file? If you look really closely, it's got compression artifacts up the ass. Right over here, it's got compression artifacts. No, that's not the YouTube video. That's actually from this. It's a YouTube video somebody downloaded from their Xbox Ones or their PCs or their P PlayStations. It's running on version 4.1. Currently, Fortnite is version 4.4. If this was a beta, it wouldn't have that kind of an issue. But over here, it's got about... Let me just go over here and turn down my cracking audio real quick. It's loud, dude. But you've got Fortnite an older version that is supposed to be a, a beta for the for the newer release okay sure yeah whatever 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 god whatever whatever dude so here it, uh, it has tap to start and now this looks kind of convincing right if you're like a younger kid so let's tap to start it's loading solo battle royale all right god bless god bless solo battle royales are loading up Oh, mobile verification required. Press OK to continue. Ooh, all right. Let's 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 see if this is legitimate, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hit OK. Starting this up, you can actually see it sends me to a site called areyouahuman.co. Content lockers. For those of you who don't know what a content locker is, anytime you find a download on the internet that's too good to be true and you click on it and you come across those, uh, uh, those surveys, you know, oh, you finished five surveys, or download this fucking program, or give your credit card information to this, this, this Russian site, and then you'll get your download. Yeah, content lockers are a lie. And, and, and they prey upon people who don't know any better. So let's see what we're gonna download over here, okay? So complete three or more offers to unlock this page. So they want me to install Tap to Riches. Reach level 25 on Archburger, motherfucker, level 25? That's probably like endgame shit, get out of here. Castle Clash, download and install this app and run it for 30 seconds. And then finally, premium Sudoku card. Install, open, sign up for a free trial by giving your credit card information. And uh, go along go, go along with it, dude. So basically, once you've downloaded these three apps, run back and you should show a success message and then you can play Fortnite. Now, I don't really believe for a 50 megabyte second application that's going to be a thing. Opening up Fortnite has actually crashed the video player call file, the video player call that Android uses, which means now we're given the black screen of all doom. So ladies and gentlemen, what have we learned today? Right now there are scam streams on YouTube and Twitch and Mixer and Pornhub for fake Fortnite Android games. Now what what is what is uh, what are these sites doing? Well, I, I don't think they're doing anything right now. I think I think a lot of these eight year old kids, nine year old kids that are accessing the internet right now are trying to download these fake APKs that can steal data off of your devices. I would normally make this a virus investigations video, but guess what? There isn't anything to learn about this, ladies and gentlemen. It's as clear cut as a virus can be. It's as clear cut as something malicious can be. The definition of malicious is actually applied here 120%, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not kidding with you. Fortnite on Android, unless Epic Games releases a beta from their websites, then I can believe it, okay? Because that's Epic Games, the guys who make Fortnite. But going to Fortnite and, and trying to get information from them or, or downloading any similar website over here is just a slap to the face for any poor soul 
trying to at least get a little bit of that battle royale action going across. So, ladies and gentlemen, be very wary, okay? This definitely, being such a casual game that Fortnite is anyways, you can bet your ass motherfucking kids are falling apart for this shit left, right, and center. That being said, Papa Muda is here to fucking help with the situation. I wanted to make sure this was brought to light because, to me... Nothing is more egregious than a scamming a motherfucker out of something and then maliciously scamming somebody to the point, well, scam is malicious in general, but maliciously scamming data files out of innocent children. God forbid they downloaded this on their parents' fucking smartphones or tablets. Well, what happens to the parents of mommy and daddy's private data? Gets taken by them dirty, dirty hackers or whatever source, I, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, bringing you the Fortnite rabbit hole. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. And YouTube, everything in this video was not clickbait. It was not scammy, deceptive, whatever whatever nonsense that might get triggered, ladies and gentlemen. This is just your boy Muda doing some investigative journalism into the world of Fortnite Android. <laughs> Cancer Royals. This is me, Muda Har, and I love you.